Hey, good Friday afternoon, everybody. I uh, want to show you the temperatures and uh, more importantly, the wind here and uh, more specifically the wind direction. Uh, cooler temperatures back towards the northwest when we're in the low to mid 80s, but you see we're well into the 90s now back towards the southeast. So to the southeast is where we're finding our hot and humid air mass, uh, particularly so. And you'll also notice out of the south, uh, across our southeastern counties, we have a wind that's out of the south where the wind uh, for elsewhere is out of the uh, southwest. So we're looking at a little bit of a convergence line, essentially, where the winds are kind of meeting each other from about Henninger through Elgin, through Bismarck, and up towards Harvey. And that is where we could possibly see thunderstorm development uh, later on today. I want to go ahead and show you the visible satellite and radar. We've already seen a, a little bit of uh, precipitation trying to form to our southwest there in northeast Wyoming, and in fact, some storms now forming in uh, southwest South Dakota. There is some upper level energy. Uh, I, w I won't show it right now, but if you look at the jet stream, you probably see some stronger winds aloft moving in towards uh, North Dakota. And when those upper level winds move on top of our air mass here, uh, we will expect storms to uh, form. And again, some of those could be on the strong to severe side, owing to the amount of instability in the air. Already seeing maybe just some agitated cumulus back towards uh, Western Sioux County there. Uh, and you can also kind of make out the boundary uh, right there through, it's right over Bismarck right now. So that is where we could see some stronger storms today. So Bismarck looks like chances for storms may be going up uh, for later this afternoon. Here's the latest Storm Prediction Center's outlook. And you can see that the slight risk just to the southeast there of Bismarck. It does now include all of Emmons County and uh, Kidder County. So they have shifted a bit to the northwest. Uh, would not be surprised if it shifted just a little bit further back towards the northwest as well, owing to where that boundary is. So we will watch that very closely. So heads up for severe weather. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be a uh, pretty uh, muggy night yet again out there. Temperatures falling only into the 60s. And highs tomorrow, temperatures will be cooler to the west than the northwest especially. And we'll see temperatures back into the 90s to the southeast. We're going to have a cold front moving through. That's going to spark off some more thunderstorms, some of which could be strong to severe uh, through your day Saturday. So that's all, the, all that's going on right now. Uh, we're going to continue to watch the uh, development for thunderstorms, of course, give you the latest as it comes in. And, uh, of course, we'll have the latest for you coming up at 5 o'clock today. So we'll see you then.